All right. Whoa, close up. With shadows. That's not cool. Lighting issues. High tech operation here. So, why did your diet fail last time, right? Three reasons. My crooked fingers. Reason one is typically it comes down to calories, right? Even if you think you're eating super healthy, you have to be in a calorie deficit, right? You can get fat on chicken and brown rice. So the portion guide that I outline, I'm, I'm emphasize, right? Having at least a palm sized portion of protein on your plate is important to follow. That's your first piece, right? Diet's the first most important piece. The second piece is when people diet, their body subconsciously lowers activity levels, right? If it senses a calorie deficit at all, you're just going to feel a little bit lazier in terms of, you know, your steps for the day, you're less fidgety. Your body's trying to conserve energy, right? So you have to kind of force this habit. So I like to do uh, step challenges, right? Or a tracker. Um, so we'll start one here soon in the group where you would track your steps every day. There's a leaderboard, you know, you're, you're, it's competitive nature to it. That helps, right? So move more even when your body's telling you not to, right? Instead of Netflix and chill, recumbent bike and chill. Yeah, it's not gonna catch on, but that's what I'm telling you. The third piece is life happens, right? You start out perfect on your diet for a week or two, then a family member passes, your kid gets sick, um, you have some stress at work, and the diet goes down the drain because you're too stressed out, right? And that's where the, the piece that comes in handy here is having a support group, right? Like the group you're in, or a coach, or some sort of accountability buddy that's going to check in on you when you're missing two, three sessions. You haven't checked in in the group for a while. Uh, to keep you accountable, because the biggest thing to this is it's simple, but it's consistency over the long term that's going to build permanent results, right? It's great to have a 30-day plan, 30-day goal but you've got to see it in terms of a year or two down the road and that one pound a week, two pounds a week, that adds up over time. You're down 50 pounds, six months or less, right? So making sure when the going gets tough, you've got a plan to handle it, right? So the, first, the three tips, managing your calorie intake, right? Keeping your portions under control, emphasizing protein with every meal. Second one is making sure you stay active. And I'm not, I don't mean crazy workouts here beyond what you do in the gym, but just getting in more steps, standing more, being more active. That little stuff adds up without sabotaging your metabolism. The third one is life happens, find a support system to keep you going because this is a long-term plan, regardless how quick you wanna do it. Your body will do it as fast as it wants to do it, essentially. All right, that's it, we'll see you next time.